Hello Info Person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about some major updates once again from the incredible Ingenuity helicopter currently flying on Mars, or actually waiting to fly another time. Because just like with the first flight of the helicopter, NASA has just achieved something pretty incredible with the ninth flight. Something that officially cemented this little guy as one of the most incredible NASA missions ever. But let's talk about the flight 7, 8 and 9 since the anomaly of the 6th flight that was discussed in a video somewhere right there. And by the way, you can actually find the entire flight log of the helicopter in the link in the description below. So first of all, NASA realized that the glitch that was happening during the 6th flight was related to the color camera. And because of this, the color camera was disabled for the next few flights. It was essentially only using black and white camera. And so during the 7th flight, there were absolutely no problems. Here's one of the pictures taken by the helicopter during the 7th flight. It flew for approximately 106 meters or about 350 feet and it landed without any problems and did not really experience anything unusual. The next flight, the 8th flight, the picture from which you can see right here, was also not particularly exciting, with the helicopter safely flying for approximately 160 meters or 520 feet. And at that point it actually landed pretty far from the um, Perseverance rover. It was over 130 meters away, and this was already sort of pushing the limits of communication. Here's one of the pictures taken by the helicopter of Perseverance at a relatively far away distance. And so after the 8th flight, they were able to actually find a solution to the previous bug and were able to re-enable the color camera. Which meant two things. One is that they were obviously able to take really nice pictures, but they could also navigate slightly more efficiently and possibly push the helicopter to a completely new level which is exactly what they decided to do. They decided to initiate the longest flight of this beautiful helicopter, 625 meters or about 2050 feet. Moving at the record speed of about 5 meters per second and flying over a somewhat interesting, scientifically speaking, and also somewhat dangerous for a helicopter area. The area that you can kind of see right here. All of these little hills and all of this not so flat terrain in this region the region the scientists currently refer to as SETA, presented a very challenging for the helicopter mission, and there's a really simple reason for that. The reason being the helicopter's navigation and the way it processes information. So first of all, let's take a look at the parts of the helicopter. We have the batteries right here, the sensors and cameras in this region, the avionics and the body or the brains of the helicopter right here, and then we have the solar panels, the antennas that are used to communicate with Perseverance, and of course the beautiful carbon fiber blades. Now the thing about the avionics and the cameras is that they use a very specific algorithm that processes the information from the cameras in order to determine the distance and the speed. But because the processor in this helicopter is not super powerful, they had to simplify the algorithm, making it read the data from the camera as if the terrain was completely flat. So for example, in this video right here, you're about to see what happens when the helicopter starts flying and how it sort of analyzes the terrain. As it starts to fly around and move around, it analyzes various features such as rocks or different crevices and puts them as tiny little dots that move in certain directions. But the way it's implemented is that it's sort of assumed that this is flat terrain. If the terrain is not flat, if there's a hill or a lot of different crevices, a lot of different rocks, and a lot of different unequal features, it's not going to know this because the algorithm assumes that it's flat. And so when flying over such a hilly area with a lot of different stuff happening here, the scientists expected the algorithm to get really confused because it thinks it's flat, but various features are going to be moving at various velocities because of the incline or because of various slopes. And because of this, the scientists estimated that the errors here will actually add up pretty quickly. In other words, the helicopter is not really going to provide a lot of very accurate data, but it's still going to be able to fly and it's still going to be able to land. And just like they expected, well, it definitely worked, but there were a lot of errors and as a result, the helicopter landed approximately 50 meters away from the original point where they expected it to land. But look at this distance. So this right here is flights 1 to 8. And this entire yellow line is the last ninth flight, with the helicopter landing somewhere in this region right here, with the Perseverance being somewhere around this region and it's probably slowly going to make its way around and eventually meet the Ingenuity. And because of the healiness of this particular area that the scientists refer to as SETA, these beautiful colored images taken by Ingenuity while it was flying across this area are technically priceless to the scientists, mostly because there's no way that the rover would probably even make it there. 
And so by using these images, they're going to be able to discover some really incredible things about this ancient river delta. Here's one of the many super detailed pictures it was able to take, showing us these unusual dunes present in this area. Now for us, and at least for me, this doesn't really tell me much, but for a professional geologist and for someone who's extremely good at telling various features apart, they're going to learn so much from these images. At the same time, because the helicopter is now a few hundred meters away from Perseverance, it's also technically pushing the limits of communication as well, as it's going to allow NASA scientists to see how far they can actually take it next time as well. And so for the next few weeks, a lot of scientists are going to be analyzing these images and are going to also look for various features that maybe the Perseverance can try to go to and explore using some of its more advanced sensors, such as the SuperCam that you see right here, that's able to analyze things using a laser and even learn about chemical composition of various rocks by looking at them from a distance. And currently, the scientists have already identified several different locations where they would love to visit because of the potential discoveries that could be made in those areas. For example, this location where the helicopter landed that it flew over, known as the Raised Ridges, is a system of very unusual fractured formations where some scientists expect there could be some sort of an ancient subsurface habitat or possibly some really ancient deposits that existed in that area where there was still liquid water on the surface. And by using the helicopter, they've also identified several other areas that could represent some of the deepest locations in the ancient Lake Jezero when there was still water there as well. So this could be a pretty interesting discovery or a pretty interesting exploration spot in the next few weeks or in the next few months. And so it's really incredible how the Perseverance so far has actually been sort of complemented by the ingenuity and its ability to take pictures from far away. Or not really far away, but from a higher altitude. And because of this, the plan now is to try to fly the helicopter every two to maybe three weeks until at least the end of August. So that means that we're going to have at least three to maybe four more flights. Which of course also means that there are probably going to be some other major discoveries coming in the next few months as well. But I guess for now, that's kind of all we know. Now, if you'd like to see some of the more recent pictures taken by the helicopter, you can find them in the link I'm posting in the description of the raw images from the NASA's Perseverance mission. And here you can basically just scroll down and directly download some of these beautiful pictures. All which, of course, shows us the incredible and somewhat alien looking landscape of our beautiful neighbor Mars. But I guess for now, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. Check out some of the other previous videos about the mission or about other Martian missions and some of the other discoveries about Mars that were made in the last few months as well. Also, if you'd like to support this channel more and if you actually love the helicopter, don't forget that the beautiful t-shirt I'm wearing right now does help support the channel quite a lot. But anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye-bye.